Hi everybody. Um, we're here to talk about trying to keep your dog from being overweight. And I have enlisted the help of Little Apple here and her mother Bootsy to give you a little bit of help as to how to tell if your dog is overweight and what to do about it if your dog is overweight. Now first of all, being overweight is really a severe problem for dogs especially if you have a breed like Cavaliers who are subject to getting heart disease and if your dog is overweight it does increase the probability that they will develop the symptoms of the heart disease and therefore the consequences of it. That can be life shortening and it can also affect their quality of life that they have. Not to mention the fact that if it gets severe um, some medications might be necessary and those medications can be very costly. So first of all, how do you tell if your dog is overweight? There are three methods that I like to use to tell if your dog is overweight. The first is by touch. All I need to do is to take my hand and gently rub along the side of the rib cage right here. I should, if I rub a little there, I should feel the ribs underneath a very light layer of fat. Very light layer. I shouldn't see the ribs when I look at the dog. Notice that when I look at Apple's side, I don't see any bumps here. If I see the ribs, she's underweight and she really needs more food. Now Apple is only nine months old, so I don't expect her to be overweight at this point. Bootsy, on the other hand, her mother, is five years old, and if I rub my hand along her side of her rib cage, again, I do feel the ribs under a very light layer of fat. Method number two is to look at your dog from above. This is a photo of Apple taken from directly above, and if you take a look, you will notice that behind her rib cage, you will see a narrowing at the waist. The waist there is actually referred to in the dog as the loin. The loin should be muscular, but it should not be padded by a lot of fat. In a case like Bootsy, she's got a much fluffier... Excuse me, Apple, I'm sorry, I need to move you a little bit. Bootsy has a much fluffier coat, and if I look at her from above, I see a lot of coat. I don't really get to look at her waistline. So what I do in Bootsy's case is I run my hands along her sides from the front of the rib cage, right behind the front legs, along the rib cage, down through the loin to the rear legs. And it should look like this. Right? Even though she has a coat that hides that narrowing at the waist or at the loin, I can feel it. And when I take my two hands and put them there, notice the two hands come together when I get to the loin area. Method number three is to know the breed standard for your dog. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels have a breed standard which states that as adults their weight should be 13 to 18 pounds. Now Apple is only nine months old. She's still growing. You'll notice she looked kind of skinny when we looked at her from above and that's perfectly normal. She will fill in as she gets older. But Bootsy is a full-grown adult. She's a bit petite, so I don't expect her to be at the upper end of that weight range. And when we weigh her, we come out with a weight, normally, between 15 and 16 pounds. If I take a larger bone dog, I might expect him or her to weigh more like 17 or 18 pounds. If I have a very large boned dog, I might get above that 18 pounds, but not by much. If you have a Cavalier, and your Cavalier weighs over 20 pounds, the chances are quite good that your dog is overweight. If you have a different breed, you can go to the American Kennel Club, you can look up any breed you like, and you can find the breed standard for that breed and see what their normal adult weight should be. So now that we know how to determine if our dog is overweight, what do we do about it? 
First of all, you should determine what the caloric needs of your dog are. I did a video on how much you should feed your dog. I'll, I'll put a link up here so that you can take a look and see that video if you haven't seen it already. Don't forget to count treats and extra things that you throw in. Table scraps if you give them. I don't advocate that, but if you do decide to give table scraps to your dog, count that in the caloric intake. And remember, what your dog eats is 100% dependent on what you, as the owner, do. There's no such thing as, well, you know, I try not to give my dog too much, but he just loves those treats. Well, all my dogs love their treats, but I do still restrict how much they get. My dogs, for example, when they go out in the morning, I let them go out and take care of their business and they come right back in and one of the reasons they come right back in is because they know they're going to get a treat. But I give them a dog biscuit that's about this big and that's all they get in the morning. If I need them to do something special for me during the day and I have to bribe them with a treat, I use little mini treats that are very tiny. If I'm training a dog to do some tricks or to be a, a good show dog on lead, I use things like Cheerios, which are extremely low on calories. So most of what they get is the dog food they have at dinner time. My dogs with the kibble that I feed them get between three quarters and one cup of food per day, and that's all. If your dog is overweight, you'll have to cut that down and it would have to be cut down quite significantly. For example, if I found that Bootsy was overweight, I would probably cut that three quarters or three quarters plus uh, cup of food down to about a half a cup. And only by cutting it that much, by like 30-40%, will you be able to see a weight loss over the ensuing days and weeks. And then when she got back to her normal weight, I would get her back on a normal diet. Remember, since a Cavalier weighs about one-tenth of what a normal adult human being weighs, every pound that your dog is overweight is like you being ten pounds overweight. So if your dog should weigh, let's say, 18 pounds, like a typical adult Cavalier that's got a good size frame, if that dog weighs 21 pounds, it's as if you put on 30 pounds of weight. That certainly makes it difficult for you to move around and conduct your daily activities, and I'm sure your doctor would tell you that it increases your chances of developing problems from heart disease or any other health problems that would normally be associated with being overweight. So keep your dogs trim, keep track of their weight, Keep checking to make sure that you don't see any signs of overweight and your dog's going to have a healthier, longer life.